Airbnb was actually born uh, in a recession. Uh, that was the time where most of the time you'd, you'd think that that's not a time to start a company. You'd rather go work for something which is already working, but then you're able to come up with uh, an innovative product like uh, like Airbnb, which is um, you know shared homes. You can monetize an asset that you have, uh, which during a recession people would uh, sort of love that support that they can get. And then of course, when economies are thriving, then of course uh, people yearn to travel, so they would definitely uh, leverage the uh, product. When the pandemic started, you know, Airbnb was impacted. But as you would have seen in um, Q3 of 2020, we um, had a quarter where we made about I think, $217 million profit. Imagine a travel company making $217 million profit in the midst of a pandemic. And we did that by focusing on the fact that while global travel was uh, not happening or international travel wasn't happening, still people as humans, they, we, earned, uh, we earned to travel. and. We went after sort of a campaign we launched, Go Near, where people could go to places which are not crowded, which is basically outskirts and remote locations. Uh, now, something like that is, um, maybe is a great example of how um, even during a, such a time where you might get bogged down by the fact that, oh my God, travel is you know done and dusted and people did write us off, yet, Airbnb, even at that time, we were still trying to figure out, okay, what's the best that we could do? How could we innovate even during this time? So